Hi, everyone. Welcome to our weekly Soul Changes Lives webinar. I am Debbie Perez Cockburn. I'm the moderator for this class this week. As usual, just like to take care of some housekeeping and remind everyone that we are not doctors, we don't treat diseases. Um, what you'll usually see on our weekly webinar is a section called Soul Changes Lives where we share a real life testimonial where soul has made a difference in someone's life. And then we have the section with our president and CEO, one of the founders of Soul Naturals, Mr. Greg Halliday, who will share some product information with us every week. And then usually we'll close with whatever is new with the company. This week, we have a special webinar planned for you. Um, many of you may know that we just had our Soul to Soul trip last week in Sandestin, Florida, and that's why we had no webinar. Um, but I just wanted to draw your attention to this little pin that I'm wearing. This is the Soul Naturals um, pin for mental health awareness. As most of you may know, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And so we have partnered up with a group called the Hope Squad. The Hope Squad is a organization that exists here in the United States and Canada and helps children and teens, adolescents uh, prevent suicide. And so it's a cause that's um, very important, especially now during this pandemic time. I think with everybody just being under quarantine, it just stresses us a little more. Um, and teens are especially susceptible to this. And with May being Mental Health Awareness Month, Soul just launched a wonderful video um, about mental health issues. Uh, some of you may have heard this um, testimonial given by Greg Halliday in the past. It is his wife's personal story and journey with mental health challenges. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and quickly share my screen so that we can watch this video together. It, um, it was launched last week during our meeting as well. And I thought it was important enough to share. So that will be the testimonial this week. And then we'll go ahead from there. I went to Germany as an exchange student. And for the first time, I was away from my family and had to make all my life decisions. And was in a country where I barely spoke the language and with a family that I didn't know very well. And that was the first time I had depression and didn't even really know what it was. But I cut my time short there and I came home um, and I got over it pretty quickly and for went on with my life and for probably, I would say 15 to 20 years, I just managed those episodes whenever they came. I went to college, I got married, um, herbs came into my life and we started treating most of our ailments with herbs and natural products and children came and those pregnancies went well and it wasn't really until we had our fifth, our son Ethan, and the pregnancy was harder physically um, as well as emotionally and especially after he was born. It was, that was the first time I really had a long-term um, depressive episode. And the herbs that I was taking were, were okay, um, but definitely not um, helping me out of that. And so for probably almost a year, I struggled with postpartum. And just as I was coming out of it about a year after he was born, a couple months later, um, we were having our, we got pregnant with our last um, child. And um, I always tell people I could tell the day that I conceived with her because the entire pregnancy was um, very difficult. And towards the end, I, I was feeling such a disconnect with this baby and struggling so hard with all the other kids. And um, I went to a therapist and he gave me a test for depression and checking off all those boxes, I saw how bad it really was. And he says, you are clinically depressed. You are as bad as it gets. And um, 
I thought, well, it's probably just the pregnancy, and I'll probably have a little postpartum, and I'm sure it'll it'll go away after that. And um, she was born, and she had hip dysplasia in both hips. So not only was I managing five other kids, um, my little newborn baby needed more care, and I was driving her up to a children's hospital for her care. And needless to say, postpartum was um, as bad as it could have been. And um, there were times where um, I was very hopeless in times where I worried about harming myself or my children. Um, at that time, I was still taking um, herbs. I was still taking B12s. I was still taking um, multivitamins. I was still taking a lot of a lot of common herbs that were available for people with depression. Um, and about six months after she was born, um, Greg and I were going to go out of the country for a long trip, um, two weeks, two and a half weeks. And we both sat down. And I remember that night thinking, there's no way. There is no way I can do this. Um, barely hanging on as it was, I, there was no way I could arrange every detail that needed to happen to leave six kids and a six-month-old baby and, and leave the country and go on this trip. And so we had a good heart-to-heart, -heart and it was decided that I would stay back, and I was convinced that I, I needed to do something more. And so I talked to my doctor, and so I went on an antidepressant, and I had fought it for so many years of my life, thinking that was just the worst thing in the world I could do. Um, and up until that point, the herbs had been working. And so it was hard to make that decision and to realize that that's the point that I was at. But as soon as I went on it, I had such a peace and such a feeling of um, comfort in my life. I felt just calm and peaceful. And I remember one time standing at the kitchen sink, just looking outside thinking, I forgot what it felt like to be happy. And I forgot what it felt like to um, have peace in my life. And so I was so thankful at that moment that I had um, made that decision because for me at that moment, it was right. Um, so he got back from his trip and I can't remember exactly how you said it, but it was something to the effect of, I came home to a new wife because um, I felt so much better and I had so much more positivity in my life. And so it um, helped me through the hardest time. And so I was on it for a good year and still taking herbs um, and managing well and feeling good despite you know the side effects that naturally come from it, but feeling good. And after about a year, it stopped really working. I had my symptoms coming back. I was struggling more days than not. And so I talked to my doctor and he says, well, we can put you on a different one or you can up your dose. So we upped my dose a little bit. And that gave me a few more months of feeling good again. And then it stopped working again. And he says, well, we can up your dose again or we can change drugs if you want. And so we upped the dose one more time and it was very quickly after that that again, it was not working. And so knowing that we were at that point that we would either have to continue down the drug road of switching drugs and trying to find the right dose or, or trying to go off it and trying to find something that was going to be better for me long-term, um, more natural, better for my health. Right at that moment where we knew we needed to take a different path weren't quite sure what. I happened to be um, president of a division of of another of the herb company that I had worked for for 20 years, and I'd been and had an opportunity to have a dinner with one of the leaders who was recently having a lot of success helping others with nutrition. And I asked her why she got involved, and she told me because of a severe depression. So this is exactly at that time that Donna's talking about when we're trying to figure out what's the next step. This this um, antidepressant's not working like it was. But she talked about these herbs, they were more concentrated than the typical, and it was a group of them, not just one or two, but it was seven different combinations, and they were principally Chinese, uh, Chinese herbs. And 
she talked about how they, she started taking them because her mother had bought them and she didn't believe anything in herbs and they sat on her fireplace mantle for weeks and she finally just decided they probably won't hurt me and I'm not getting better. So this is her story. And I shared all that with Donna and, and Donna was taking, still taking the Zoloft and a few other herbs that she was taking. And so she immediately said, I, I'd like to add those. Let's add those and let's see if it makes a difference. So to me, it was something significant. It wasn't just, uh, hey, let's try this. It was something that came, the timing of it came when we needed it most, I think. And, and like Donna said, I think it was, my memory was somewhere around, I don't know, four or five, six months backing down. And then we had this trip that we were supposed to go to when the, the small dose that you were still on of the antidepressant, um, well, it got forgotten. Yeah, it got left behind. And so we went on the trip and I didn't have it anymore. And so we were on the trip for a week and I got through it okay. And when I came back, I realized I, I don't need to back off anymore. I'm done, I'm off it. I noticed while Donna was taking those, I mean, she did, she did talk about how many she was taking. And it was, my memory was between 30 and 60 capsules a day. Some days Probably. you took like, a, you took a dose in the morning at night. Right. right. And then in other days, maybe it was just one dose and you were good, but a dose was like 30 something <laughs> capsules. So um, that was going on for, I don't know, I wanna say a couple years ish, good. somewhere around there. And then there were other changes that actually happened in my professional career with this wonderful company and, and a publicly traded company. And all of a sudden there's a whole new board of directors and a whole new direction. And feeling a little apprehensive about that. And all of this, happens around the same time uh, as we, as I'm thinking about next steps, one of the thoughts that, that kept returning to me was what Donna had been going through and what she was still going through. Because even though she was taking the herbs, it wasn't like everything was absolutely um, without challenge, but it, it felt like you knew something you could do <clears throat> that, that worked enough to where you felt like I, I can right. manage this. Right. That's the way it felt to me. So. Um, when other changes happened in t from a career point of view for me, and I started looking at other options, one of the very first things I looked at was why things had changed when Donna had started using these particular forms and added them to, to her nutrition. And that led to the realization that most of those formulas actually had adaptogenic herbs. That led to investigating what adaptogenic herbs are what makes them different and from then it was just a really a domino effect a series of events connecting with um, with past colleagues with good close friends um, talking about all of this and then looking at the marketplace and noticing that there wasn't a company centered this way for nutrition and our thought was that if it had made such a difference for donna um, that what if all of the nutritional products were centered around adaptogens. How could that make a difference for people in their lives? Would it accelerate improvement that they're looking for in health? Would it help more people sort of believe that the nutritional and natural way is, is a good way to, to work? I mean, there are lots of thoughts about that. And I remember sharing that with Donna and she was very open to, to founding a company, even though she knew it would be hard. We didn't know how hard, but. <laughs> that was probably good we didn't know how hard Probably good, <laughs> yeah. And that sort of came to Donna's first request. So I asked him if there was any way that he could make a product that I could take and just take one product instead of this whole slew of products. Um, and so when they came up with Adaptable, we tried different formulas as he was working through it and finally, um, we settled on one and I realized how much better I felt taking just that product. So I was able to transfer over to just taking one product. And to this day, Adaptable is still the only product I take for my depression. And sometimes I still take a morning dose and an evening dose. And sometimes I take an emergency dose in the middle of the day if I'm not feeling good. But I do not have to take 30 to 60 herbs anymore. I just take one, one product. As I look back on it now, I think everything that Donna went through and the way she was so open about it and the way she blended kind of consulting with a doctor but making her own decision, 
and you know throughout it using the the antidepressant when it was needed but then looking at on a long term on a long term uh, with a long term point of view at, at the herbs and nutrition all of that i think is what led to the way that that our philosophy has evolved and formed in the beginning with soul and and looking back on it now um, i can definitely see how key that experience was because more than ever, I'd say after all these years, I, I still believe that when we, when we supplement nutrition, the fact that it be balanced, that it has a wide variety of nutrients, but also that it support both physical needs and emotional and that whole tie that we, we maybe understand a little bit of to this point. And so not that I would wish depression on anyone and not that I'm happy to struggle with that each and every day, but if my story can help others, then it's worth it. And it's worth sharing, and it's worth other people telling other people what their experiences um, are. Because I think we're in this to help each other. And our connections that we make here um, are everything. And so if I can learn from my experience and someone can learn from their experience, and then we can go and we can share that, I think that it breaks down that stigma that depression is your fault because you're not doing something right or you're doing something wrong. Um, but it just helps you reclaim your life when you get your health back. And for, for me to have my health mentally and physically allows me to be there for my family and be there for my loved ones and, 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 and live the life that I, I want to live. I just want to, I want to echo the sentiment of of kind of what you just said in terms of the culture of the company we always hoped from the start and now we 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 just feel that way we're so grateful what we're all about as a company is what you just said we're in it to help one another and and that's why we do what we do um, we can help with with health in a in a way that most people don't know is available to them and because of really what kind of what you went through and what we all learned from that and then the fact that we set up our businesses as sort of a self-owned business is another opportunity to help people um, kind of reclaim reclaim the life that we, we sort of feel like we all we all have an opportunity to have. We, we really do. So I'm grateful for that. Yeah, and I still I still stress in my life. I still have depression. I still have to manage it all the time. Grace is now 14, and Ethan's 16, and life still has stress and I still have to manage it every day. And I have my morning herbs and I have my evening herbs, but the only herb I take for my depression now is adaptable. And there are times where I still get overwhelmed or I still get pulled down and I will go and take an extra dose. And it, I, he thinks it's like 45 minutes. I think it's like a half an hour. I say very quickly, I can find myself feeling a lot more even when I need to sort of take those emergency doses where I'm just, um, I'm just feeling like I'm, I'm sinking again. So I'm just so thankful that it's a product that continues to work for me and helps me manage it because that's just something I'll do. When you have a chronic illness, you just manage it every day. And it's just a part of who I am, but I at least now know that I've got the tools and I've got the resources and I have things that will work for me and will just help me um, in every aspect of my life. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I have enjoyed it. I love watching it over and over again. Um, for me, it's um, super interesting because, um, well, like Donna said, right, we all struggle with anxiety and depression, some to a greater degree than others. Um, and so it um, can be a challenge. And especially in this day and age where it's still a stigma, right? It's still taboo to talk about mental issues, mental health issues, how we struggle every day. But I think um, living in this time of pandemic has really um, brought it more to the forefront for a lot of people, um, especially young adolescents. I've seen... Um, 
just so many people struggle with it. And um, it, how can I say this? Um, many of you don't know. Um, those of you who do know me, just think of me as the smiley person and might look at me and just say, hey, she's got it all together. What problems could she have? But if I were to tell you, you know, we all have a cross to bear and, uh, and the anxiety and the depression that comes with it can be really strong um, for some more so than others. And I can tell you that when I started with Soul eight years ago, I was going through a severe depression. Um, it was not the first time in my life I had struggled with it. I think I had ignored it and put it on the back burner for way too long until things got a little out of control. And um, so for me, Adaptable was the product that truly changed my life. And I'm very grateful for that. And at this time, I'm just so grateful that Donna's video exists because um, I think sometimes when I share my personal story, I tend to give too many details, <laughs> but Donna was really um, direct in explaining what she went through. I did not suffer postpartum, but I have had severe bouts of depression in my life. And I can tell you that much like her experience, I had tried many things to help, including thinking about ending my own life. And so um, sometimes the pain is really hard and it's good to know that there are products available, a product like Adaptable that can change your life. So again, um, share this video with everyone if you can and would like to make a donation to the Hope Squad or join forces with Soul. Uh, we invite you to do that. And if you don't know how to do that, send me a private message or contact your mentor and they'll be able to tell you how to do that. And joining us right now is our friend, uh, my close dear friend and associate, Greg Halliday, for those of you who don't know him, he is one of the founders. He is the president and CEO of Soul Naturals. You saw him on that video with Donna. Greg, thank you so much for being with us um, this week. I think uh, we're just a very small group today. I have some members who are out of town and so they're not joining us live. That's okay. I'm always happy to be here. And I know, I know the team gets on and watches them. And I'm with you, Debbie. Anytime we can share something that's changed lives i actually love that blessing of media where it can be watched at, at a time when when a person could see it and passed along and i've been hearing a lot this past week um in fact last night debbie i was on you know marcella mm -hmm. and i was on hers and she had had a topic all planned and prepared she changed it uh, much as you have done to show because so many people had seen donna's video and we're, and we're so moved by what kind of what you've said, you know, I am, I just feel so happy that people like you, Donna, and there are many like this in Seoul who are very open and will just share what they've gone through. And that gives hope. And that's our hope with this whole thing. And it's each one of these I get on, Marcella was, she said, please go home and tell your wife, thanks. Please tell her thanks. And in fact, <laughs> One of them that was on Valerie's, another one of our, our soul sisters, soul leaders. Um, you know Gretchen from Houston. Yes. Gretchen was on Valerie's on, on Monday night and said, I just, I'm looking forward to getting to convention because I want to go give Donna a hug. And I, so I, I think this message, it's all, it's all that, that Donna could wish for. She wants to tell everybody, look, it's still, it's still something she manages. It's not like you solve it but when no. you, you you empower yourself and suddenly there's this great you know there's life the way it should be you get the ups and you get the downs but you manage them yeah sure sure and and i you know i can tell you from my personal experience when i left uh, my previous job and it was just a struggle and then i started to come out of that and feel better and then boom i lost my mom and a couple of uh, six friends all in a row and, and, you know, try to get over that. And Adaptable was what helped me through it all. Um, Adaptable is not the only product I use from Soul. Obviously, you know, I'm a huge fan and 
I probably take all of the products that are available, but I feel good every day. And, and I want to echo what, what Nana said, you know, every day is, is, a, is every day is an uphill climb. Sometimes it's an easy climb, but it's a climb nonetheless. <laughs> and so it's good to know that, um, that we have refuge in these products. So having said that, Greg, um, there are some wonderful new things happening at Seoul that people will be noticing over the next few months. Um, you and Blake did a wonderful job of presenting these things to us at Soul to Soul, and I wondered if you wouldn't mind doing that again for us. Um, I don't think you've ever gotten more applause on one thing that you presented. <laughs> Than, than, than anything else you've done with Soul. I mean, we love all of the products, but boy, the innovations and the investments that you've made in the company right now really are breathtaking. And I know that when all of our viewers watch this video later on, they're gonna scream just as loud as we all did in person. So <laughs> I turn the time over to you, Greg. You are now a panelist, so you can go ahead and share your screen and okay. share that video. Thanks, Debbie. I like what you said, you know, every day is a climb because soul's about making us strong. A climbing, I actually love hiking. And, but, you, but when you're strong and when you're fit, it's the most beautiful thing. And so we're all, we're about, soul's about providing the nutrition that fills those gaps, right? For both emotional and physical health. And then, then the walk, the walk forward every day is, is a good one. And like Debbie said, we're seeing lots of people out there <laughs> enjoying the beautiful hike in, in the, <laughs> the mountains of life. Let's put it that way. Um, and so, yes, Soul is constantly investing. And um, Blake announced, if you don't know Blake, he is one of the founders as well and is the vice president in charge of the entire supply chain, of the laboratory work, all of the manufacturing, all of the fulfillment and shipping, that whole process. And Blake is, oh, if you know him at all, he loves to improve processes. There's some wonderful innovation in machinery. Um, it's, it's pharmaceutical grade machinery. This is machinery that's equally well used for products in that industry as in our own. And so what announcement he gave us last week at our, at our Ford event was the completion of six new clean rooms. And a clean room is simply a special standard that is applied in terms of its fit and finish <clears throat> for manufacturing and all the processes that go into products like ours. And, and with that, so re like recently, there are now a, a second larger warehouse where the, one of our warehouses is where all the fulfillment happens and, and employees are packing your orders and shipping them out. And then the other one, which is probably twice the size of the the fulfillment warehouse is where the clean rooms are and where the manufacturing enhancements are taking place. And over the next six to eight to nine months, I, we'll probably just keep doing it. Um, we'll give you little glimpses. It is designed to be toured so that you can tour it, but we'll, um, we will do video and show you parts of the process. Um, I love to, I, I love to kind of give people a window into soul quality. I know Blake, sort of lives for that. And, and so he gave us a little bit, a little sneak peek of the video that I'll show you here in a second. But because of um, this, yes, there's, there's large investments in some of the latest machinery. I'll just give you an example. One of them will enable a much greater um, variation in encapsulation, different sizes. Here's a couple of bottles here. Here's a power cheese. So that's our bigger bottle, right? And now this bottle on my right, or on, I, well, I guess, I don't know if it's on your right or your left. It's on your left, yeah. That bottle will fit 180 capsules. So one of the announcements that Blake made is that coming this fall, we think and plan toward convention in August. If you have any opportunity, please come. We wanna see you. There's gonna be a, a couple of days of wonderful education and training that you're not going to want to miss. And then we'll make some of these, we'll also make some of these uh, um, launches happen for, we've got products now that like Verdesimes and ProBio and Adaptable and SoClear SI and 
Soulflex. Soul yeah, PI that these are these tend to be products that you know in situations you might be using two or three every four hours or wh whatever the case may be. And so that little 60 count bottle. And then if you have more than one person in your home using them, it you're just going bought through bottles. So we will be able to offer a larger size. That'll also be a slight savings per per dose, you know, because that's always what happens when you're able to package in a bigger size, you have fewer bottles involved. Right. And in addition, Blake showed us our new lids. So around the same time, you'll see, this is my Power G uh, bottle, and then here's the new lid on it. So you can see now you've got this wonderful little flip top lid, and this is the bigger bottle. The lid's a little bigger because it's it's circumference, same lid. They're, they are, they'll have the same kind of seal and tamper evident and all, of course, all of that. But now they'll be in flip tops so that you can easily use and and not have to unscrew the lid every time and screw it back on. So we, we love that announcement. That was one announcement made. Another one was the refill size. Now we've been calling them since the start of Soul refill when you buy Soul Vital or Excel, Cinemati or Renew, the four signature drinks, if you buy those in a larger size, which is more and more and more common. One, because usually more than one person in a home. Two, because when people are dealing with major issues in health, kind of like Debbie alluded to, and really with Donna, when you look at issues, any issue of health, they all have an emotional effect. And what is, and it's different for all of us, right? And different in its severity at different times. One of the secrets to me in health is to match the level of nutrition to the need. So sometimes the need is less and the nutrition can be in lesser quantities. And other times it's more. And the only thing we need to do is a little more frequently um, or a little more quantity or both. And that's something that we can learn. We each can learn for ourselves and we try to, I know that's taught here. So that is why larger sizes are important to us. Uh, also because we like to be able to give people a savings. So now all of the refills are gonna undergo a change as well. Again, because of this, um, some also some new technology, which is really fantastic. Little stick pack type products like all of our drinks, signature drinks, have traditionally, they're, they're produced on um, machinery and then they're filled in boxes by hand and always have been. And so then they're weighed to make sure that there's a full amount that, that an employee didn't miscount. They get weighed and, we, and the scale is usually a little to the high, excuse me, to the, yes, to the high side as it's standard to give the benefit of the doubt, if anything, that there might be an extra pack in there or two. Um, and so this is kind of what we've done. Well, with the new technology now, there is equipment that will feed all of these and weigh it as part of the machinery itself, fill it, and no employee needs to even come in contact with it, which is really wonderful. Uh, it's a full contact free process and re re really right up until it's sealed. And I, I love that when, when that became available, Blake jumped all over it. That's already installed and working. And in fact, I think for our convention in Orlando, we'll be able to show you a video of that, but let me show you what it'll look like. So here, here are the drinks, here's Excel. And now instead of a refill box, you'll see this wonderful bag. And you can, if you look closely, you can see there's little sections that are transparent. So you can see the little, the, the packs inside of it. This bag will do three major things in terms of a quality standpoint for us. Number one, boxes can get damaged in shipping and they look terrible. And sometimes the powder can leak out and there can be problems that way. Or say you're getting it to share with someone else and it looks terrible. So the image and the damage in shipping, the bags don't damage, they ship very well. More importantly is, that these bags actually seal and reseal. And we use so many natural flavors. We don't use any synthetic or artificial flavors. So flavors themselves will actually dissipate over time. The therapeutics in plants, as you know, will last years and years. But some of those volatile oils, that's what will dissipate. And so adding, instead of putting these in, in the large white boxes, They'll be in these nice size bags and sealed. And when you start receiving these, which will be later this summer, you'll smell the difference. And, I, and so it's an even better experience with some of these 
wonderful natural flavors that are in here. So that's the second reason. Um, the third reason is that um, it can, well, I, I, I kind of gave you that one up at the start. It's all machine filled. So you've got this whole, uh, there's another degree of, of sort of, uh, what, what we would just say sealed, sealed manufacturing where it doesn't come in contact with anything. We like that. Um, so you've got all these reasons. You've got the flavor. You've got um, the fact that it can be done more, um, more accurately, I would say, and easily with the machine. And then finally, the shipping, etc. So all four of the drinks. So there's the Excel. And then I'll show you real quick. There's Renew. There's the Renew bag. It looks like that. The Cinemate. We won't call them refills anymore. We'll call them 100. So you've got the 100 size of all the signature drinks. And we will in time as well, I didn't mention this, I'm not sure if I mentioned it yesterday, Debbie, but there's also machinery for all our powder fill products. And we will also be introducing in time a little later, larger sizes in those for the same reason that we have families using, we have people using more and they'll get a savings in buying in the larger size. We will keep the smaller size if you're wondering, you know, the, the, um, the wonderful boxes that we have for the four signature drinks that are small, as you know, those are actually sealed in the entire box. And, and so we're gonna keep with those because we want that affordable size as well, um, or that price point. I mean, the big size is affordable too when you, when you do it over time, it's actually more affordable, but we want a smaller price point as well. So same thing with all of the capsules, we'll keep the current sizes, all of them, and we'll just add the additional larger sizes that will be an opportunity. So some great things happening from the manufacturing and quality uh, point with same quality. The quality never changes in terms of the material inside. I don't have the slides with me today. Come to convention and see more of this. But one thing Blake shared was heavy metals. Those get talked about from time to time. All plants absorb them. There probably is some mic really micro amount that is essential in even the, the, the worst of these that we don't want to see. But what happens is there are areas where they get become of the earth and areas where they become contaminated and have much too much and they become dangerous, which is why we've always tested for them. And laws have been put into place. And then you had, you had laws put into place on top of the original laws, even more stringent. And really what Blake showed, and we'll, we'll repeat this one at convention, is that the heavy metals in the sold drinks, which would be the product with the most quantity of powder, average about one-tenth the level of the most strict standard. So they're much lower. They don't, we don't try to make them meet the standard. We, we have our own, our own quality standard, and it's well under anything there. You've heard of probably Prop 65 in California, much more strict than, than Prop 65 um, is the sole standard there. So um, he'll, he'll show you some more of that if we come to convention. Um, the final thing that he did was he showed a video of Solmegas. So you know Solmegas, pure plant-based omegas. Um, I cannot tell you how many stories I've listened to of people using one omega or another of high quality that comes um, from the ocean or animal sourced. And that's kind of been our training our, you know, in our lifetimes, these are, those are your best omegas. You get them from fish, you get them from sea life, you know, krill, et cetera. And we don't really all, we're never told the part of the story where, where do they get the omegas? They don't produce them. They don't fabricate them. They eat them and they accumulate in them. Well, what we're doing with sole omegas and plant sources, we're going, we're skipping the middle fish and going right to the source is what we like to say. And so the, this product is a very important one as well. Well, one for, for, for many, many years as we've seen the demand continue to increase. This is another announcement Blake made of a clean room of, a, of his new bottling line, which he's pretty giddy about. Um, and what we were always used to for all the years, as Debbie mentioned, we all worked at another company for 20 plus years and we had um, wonderful quality and great uh, great facilities this new machinery because of advancements in the machinery what used to take us a uh, three weeks to do 
will happen in three days in this new bottling line. So I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek that just puts Seoul in a good position, looking forward to the future to always maintain availability and quality of these products for you. Because as Debbie said, I actually love that you combine this topic this week, Debbie, with Donna's story and adaptable. And you know the reason why we do all of this and whether your greatest challenge is, is mood or whether it's something else that um, of course is gonna have its effect on how you feel, um, uh, they're all equally important to us. And that's why we have the variety of products. And so let me just share with you this video really quickly. And it'll, it kind of shows the capability, um, a, little, a little, like I say, a look into the window of, of Seoul Manufacturing so you can kind of see where Seoul is prepared for the future. So this is the bottling line. And when Blake presented it, he, he talks you through it. You're, he's not here today, so you're just gonna have to <laughs> make do with me. And I apologize because Blake is even better at this. I just listened to him carefully but I do understand the process. So let me show you. Now, I'm not sure I didn't push sound, so you may not be able to get the sound on this. Are you getting it? Oh, good, I didn't have to. So this is where the omegas are loaded. And then you see Blake there putting the bottles into the, where the process begins. Those are two separate places where the material is introduced to the line. And then this elevator brings the bottles into a sorter. The sorter simply makes sure the bottles enter into the line one at a time. And there's a lot of really neat technology that makes sure they're all facing the same direction. They get flipped over if they're backward. And eventually you see them start to line up. And as they come through, now they're gonna be sorted into rows. This is what I was telling you. Typically you'd have a, maybe a two lane, originally a one lane. This is a six lane bottling line that has all sorts of flexibility you can see that air pressure pushes these bottles through and makes reads how many bottles are lined up ready to receive the soul mangas. You can see now it's, it's assembling them. You've got this nice line and then this, the omegas are carefully vibrated off through the hopper into the bottles. And as the bottles reach the weight that they need to have, the number of capsules, then they move forward into the line. And I love this process because even though all the materials are tested ahead of time, it goes through a magnetic and metal detector. Everything will go through any kind of metal detector and onto a scale. See that 107, 109.8, that's the weight. If, it, if a bottle's under the weight, it's ejected off the line into a little bin. And so you'll never get one lacking. Then it comes through where the lids are popped on. You can see the cap seal a brand of that section and then into the labeler. So this is where the Soul Mega's label is applied. You can see him rolling off of the label line right there with the lid in place. The lid comes sealed, but there's still one more step. I mean, when the lid is fastened and tightened, it'll seal it in place. There's one more step. See the plastic being, this is the tamper evidence seal that comes down on top of the lid. And then it goes through a heat induction that will shrink it and seal it around that lid so that you know the product has not been opened when you receive it. And then it comes off into uh, a, a bin that spins and the employee can now pack it in, a, in boxes. So that's just a, a demo uh, the, the, that, that later that week in this past week, they've been um, bottling several, several different things and Soul Mega is among one of them. So you got a little sneak peek into that. Um, sometime if you're ever out in Utah, I'd say some anywhere say from late summer on, you'll You'll probably, I think by late summer, all six of those clean rooms will, will be up and running and you'll kind of see some of that, the latest enhancements there and you could, you could uh, come by and we can, we can make a tour work for you. If you can't, which is most people, we understand that, we'll keep doing these little videos and give you some little glimpses into the sole manufacturing. I love that because I'm a geek like that. I used to love going through the assembly line and watching everything. And I love the automation of it because this day and age, everybody's so particular about hands touching product. And it's it's yeah. completely automated. So it's hands free. Um, that's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah, that whole line, you might've had to have, I don't know, six or eight people. You can have uh, one, two three watching the whole thing now because you got one at the end putting it in cases you have one at the start. so it is it is much more efficient yeah uh, that helps keep costs down 
And um, as you say, and of course, they're all gowned up. They're all hair nets, gown, right, gloves, right. everything, those that do work in there. And, well, and the neat thing is there's a system, I have to tell you, speaking of your, the geek side, Deb, <laughs> all, all places will have an air filtration system. It's a huge unit that's outside the warehouse that keeps the, neg the air pressure negative so that if you open a door, it never air never comes in. It always will leave those rooms. Mm -hmm. Well, for the size of warehouse, which is quite large, the latest technology, you only need one of these. However, Blake put two in. He actually put double because he wants to have extra and if he wants to add clean rooms. So right. yes, all of the process, people sometimes wonder, okay, what standard do you put it to? Well, to the very highest. Why would you, we wouldn't want to deal, we, we're eating this stuff. Right. There, so people say, well, what about pharmaceutical versus, well, it's all the same in terms of the cleanliness. So mean, meaning you would never do anything less than that if you're going to eat anything. Right. That's industry. That's pretty awesome. I love it because I, I always think of, you know, I live in Texas now. So you have your old um, farm to market road, one lane in, one lane out, or you have your interstates, right? <laughs> Six lanes. And I just think of that whole process as being like the super highway. So I love it. And that also helps manage, keep inventory safe too. I mean, we've had so many uh, growth periods at Seoul but we've never had to wait for a product. I think only once we ran out of something and I'm happy to say it was the specialist kits and it was my group who wore them out because they were signing up so many people that weekend during that promotion. So we were- Well, that's right. Yeah, and that was, and that was a, a pandemic um, thing too because you couldn't, printers couldn't get employees in. The only right. reason it was out was because it was a printed material and they, and they just said, we have to wait. Yeah. Uh, if, if one employee tested positive, they had to shut it down for two weeks. So anyway, all yeah. the pandemic things, it caused huge interruptions in printing. Right. But it only disrupted us. I think it was like less than a week. And so yeah. in so much, and, and you don't have to worry about product going through that right now because of this process. And I love that. And I love the, the new bottle sizes, which will make it much more economic for me who, you know, I use those Verdesheim so much for um, bone issues. Um, and, and managing pain, and that's really important. And sometimes you think of recycling all these bottles, that just consolidates the amount of bottles that, that you have around the house. So that's really awesome. And I thank you, Greg, for that. And thanks for um, presenting that video today. Just wanna remind everyone of one important thing that I forgot to mention. This is May, this is Mental Health Awareness Month. If you haven't checked out the Soul Naturals um, YouTube page, you really need to, or follow me on Facebook because Dr. Allison Caldwell Andrews has done a series of four amazing seminars on mental health issues and things that we should be aware of and how to help. And so um, look for that because it's on there. Anyway, thanks everybody for being with us this week. Thank you, Greg, so much for everything you do and for sharing that awesome information. Thanks everybody. We hope to see you all next week. Stay well, stay happy. You soul.